Hello and welcome to another game of Twilight Struggle with yours truly, Francie Pants. Still hovering over 1700 in our play decorating. Have not been playing well lately though, been playing really fast, even in 90 minute games, and not taking advantage of time as a friend rather than an enemy. Also, haven't had many league matches lately. Should have one Sunday, and I hope to record it and upload it. But again, if it's really long, I may forego that and uh, leave you wondering how it went. But today we're just uh, yeah looking for a lobby player, 45 minutes. Actually, I might change to 90 so I can uh, replicate the OTSL uh, system. Give myself more time, more chance to practice uh, card tracking. So, also keep an eye out to see if there are other games available. Do 45 or 90. Gorby Parker. Okay. Looks like almost a identical rating. If he accepts me here, we'll, again, we might do card tracking for uh, early war, but have to play quicker after that. Which is ironic, because I'm trying not to play too fast. I'm trying to force myself to slow down, but it is what it is, folks. So let's see how this match goes with us as the USA. Can plug in my cards really quickly here. Oh, he's also going quick. I think we'll just uh, headline defectors and then go from there. Yeah, I was, I was playing really sloppy yesterday. In fact, one major boo-boo I made was not accounting for blockade as the USA. That's a newbie mistake. I was like, man, what is wrong with me? So we're going to do better this time. Don't have any good three ops to save for blockade, but maybe we'll just uh, keep... Oh, I don't have Red Scare Purge. What am I doing? <laughs> I have Nuclear Test Ban. So I'll either have to keep Nuclear Test Ban or a uh, five-year plan. Six, and what else we... Vietnam Revolts, okay. Means we'll probably have to make it to Vietnam by the end here. Unless we space it, but... Mm. Okay. Well, that's delightful. So he played Independent Reds, which is now out, and also Nasser. Okay, I think we're going to put two into Pakistan and one into Malaysia. We have Decal and Vietnam Revolt, so if he wants Thailand, he has to coo us out of Malaysia or drop the DEFCON low enough and then uh, destall. So I think this makes some sense. He could us with a two-op, though. He must have some iffy cards there. Not that we have great cards either, mind you. Maybe we will space uh, Vietnam Revolts here, since we also have Decal. Though if he uh, blockades us, then we'll have to play all of our cards. Uh huh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to give up here? 
holding nuclear test ban. I want to get back to Pakistan right away. He can coup Iran again. That's that's fine. Korean War is going to go to Korea. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Yep, now you know I have no scoring cards, but... Sacrifices have to be made this with hands like this, so... Let's see if he coups us again. Maybe Korean War will go to Thailand, I don't know. I mean, if, yeah, if he's successful, then I might just put it in Thailand instead. Could take Korea later with nuclear test ban if he doesn't do anything about it. Okay, so he has a pretty iffy hand, but he's getting rid of uh, some of my solid cards without a lot of uh, issue. Okay, that's fine, coup Lebanon. All right, well, you already got your mill ops, so let's see what happens with Korean War. Great. Great, great, great. De Gaulle, not for the event. All right. So now the question becomes, I think we're just going to go to Lebanon here. If he wants to take uh, Pakistan with the China card or something, that's fine. Don't like giving him D-stall fuel, but I also don't want to give up any of my other cards just yet. All right, I'm forcing myself to play a little slower, though he is uh, playing rather quickly. Question is, is he going to give us the China card or play all of his cards? I wonder if he has, uh, I guess he doesn't have CIA, or he would have dropped it right there, probably. Okay. All right, moment of truth. I think we spaced Vietnam. That's first two points, so... No, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Uh, I think we have to space decal here. We don't even have a way back into West Germany right now, so... Uh, or we play Vietnam and bite the bullet. But he has the China card, so he could just take Thailand, Thailand right away. Ooh, I don't like this. I guess we're just going to space decal. At least we got two points out of it. See my mistake uh, of not. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm, nice roll for you, sir. My mistake of not grabbing... Uh, Not accounting for blockade last game is really affecting my play this game. I mean, it, it, I feel like I'm making the right decision. I just uh, don't like getting rid of decal there. Okay. Now, if I do this, now, you know, maybe... Suez and Sakovs are still out there, but maybe I should just uh, put it all in France right now, because I'll have a chance to take Thailand. Or I'll put three in France and one in Thailand. Okay. All right, I don't mind it.
All right, we got some pretty good ops here. Middle East scoring's also nice. Now we got Red Scare Purge. We got NATO. Duck and Cover. Warsaw Pact and Fidel. Ooh, that's good. So if we play Fidel right away... East European Unrest. Okay, so we got more ops this time. More playable cards. He might have Blockade, he might have D-Stall, and he also might have CIA. So let's factor that into our plans. Uh, we're definitely going to purge him, though. No doubt. And then we'll see what he does, but probably do something with Fidel. Maybe take Thailand uh, with, and Laos with Fidel. Fascinating. Well, there's a point for you, sir. We know Egypt is safe for now because Nasser's in the discard, so we also want to get to Libya ASAP. He could be destalling pretty quick, so. Okay, blockade is not being evented. It's always scary when blockade goes back in the deck, though, so. Not particularly happy about that. Um, right, Fidel. So, let's put one. Laos and one in Egypt. Force him, if he does destall, to put two into Libya if he wants to keep it. Um, otherwise, we will happily move in. Also, going to put pressure on India with these ops, we could easily take it. At some point, want to overprotect South Korea. Okay. Right now, overprotect France. I feel like he would have destalled right there if he'd had it, so maybe he doesn't have it. Unless he has another priority. Okay. Take, take uh, India while you can. That makes sense. All right. Um, I kind of want to hold on to Warsaw Pact, see if he plays Europe. Let's do... Uh, this would be, give us domination, but he, would, he could take Iraq right away. So let's do that, I think. Believe it or not, I am playing slower than I was playing yesterday. Not necessarily better, but definitely slower. Which is, uh, for me, it's progress. Uh, also definitely want to get into the African countries, so maybe we'll use uh, NATO duck and cover for that. After we drop Middle East. I think we'll drop it here. Well, nah, Egypt is uh, too easy to take, so hey, that's nice. give us domination, though. He probably does have Europe based on that play right there. Okay. Does he also have Asia is really the question we want to ask. So it looks like he doesn't have D-Stall, which is fantastic. Music to our ears. Take Thailand because we want to take that eventually anyway. And now we have domination in two regions, and we're holding him off relatively well in the third. I imagine he'll take Iraq here, which is fine. Could also drop Asia. Norad to space. Okay. 
Great, well that gives us a chance to drop Middle East. Bring us back to even over there. A lot of red cards left. Not very excited about that, though, having CIA out. We also should play NATO before the end in case he has um, containment. So we should play it this turn. Probably Zaire, uh, Algeria. Hmm. We'll see what he does here, but seems like a decent uh, start. Oh, there's containment. Oh, which means he probably has five... No, five-year plan was discarded. That's interesting. What could that mean? Europe. Probably means Europe. Let's see. Um... Probably means Europe. So what we could do is we could play Warsaw Pact. He'll probably put two into Yugoslavia, which is actually kind of okay with us. Because it leaves Poland vulnerable, or East Germany vulnerable for later if he spends more, more than one op elsewhere. And then with that, we could fill both Canada and uh, Portugal. So I think that's what we're going to do. Just make sure that's what he does. Uh, well event it and let him do his thing first. We could also break Greece, but uh, definitely want to fill Spain-Portugal at the very least. This seems really, especially with him playing containment on turn 5, seems really like uh, Europe scoring. And if it is, it means we can expect Asia scoring, so our turn six play can be factored around that. Okay, so let's do one, two. And if we go to Greece, we actually also give ourselves access to Turkey. So let's go ahead and break Greece. Let's see what he does. Perfect. All right. That is great news. Now, do we also want to set ourselves up for a domination in Asia? I think we do. So let's go ahead and place one more into Thailand and then break North Korea. I think that is a good situation. So let's go there. He gets a point. Sadly, we didn't make the Zaire, but I feel like we had other priorities there. Okay, so this is where we're going to stop our card tracking. We're taking a lot of time here, uh, but not too much time. Okay, so we have Asia scoring. That's great. Uh, Comic-Con and Suez, which means he has, he has CIA, he has Formosan, he has Destal, Socialist Governments, Arab-Israeli War question is, okay, we didn't redraw. Um, he could, could he destall right away and take away domination? He would need, I don't think, well, if he put one in Indonesia, oh no, he could, he could put one in Korea. So is it worth defectoring here? He, that's a redraw. Give it, he could give us the coup and then we could take Iran because he doesn't know we have defectors. I actually don't mind that, because he might be destalling right now, expecting us to headline Asia scoring. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes! All right! Yes! Read him like a book. That was sick. Oh, man, that was awesome. That was awesome.
Well, regardless, we'll still get uh, Asia off for nothing, and we'll get to score Europe again. So, And he has to fix North Korea now, which means we get a coup, probably on, yeah, almost certainly on Iran. Oh, right, CIA, of course. Um, yes, five-year plan. Okay, well, we're not going to keep track of this right now. Okay, let's actually, let's be sneaky here. Let's go to Colombia. Uh, actually, if we go to Colombia. No, nah, I like going to Colombia. I like it to get a, to get Asia scoring off. I think I think it's okay. I might be playing risky here, but we expect them to fix North Korea. I mean, almost certainly. So. Yeah, I really don't mind this at all. And plus, we can coup with a higher card. Okay. Now, it's definitely not going to take domination away from us in Asia, but we do want to overprotect something. Um, regardless, I think the first option here is to coup. He does have pretty decent cards, though, so we do need to get Asia off. Uh, do we want to coup, or do we want to go to, into Venezuela? Should have been thinking about this, huh? No, I think we want a coup. I think we want a coup. Oh, we have to play fast. That's the sad part. That's the difficult part here. He's going to get mill ops whatever we do. Um, because we went to Colombia, and he has a lot of ops. Well, we get a coup, and we weren't going to get it otherwise, so... Uh, I mean, we were going to get it with the CIA, but this is our chance to use a higher card, so... Do we want to use a higher, higher card? Nah, we just want to use this. Let's just use uh, Olympic Games. Alright, now we do have to play faster. We're playing too slow. Hey! That's a good roll, though. Let's see if he attacks South Korea, or if he lets us uh, drop it right away. We do have NATO, so... Not a huge concern. I expect he'll coup Colombia right here. Though he also wants to fix Iran now. Yeah, he's got some problems. Got some problems. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested if anybody is watching this and has an opinion. Was one op into Colombia, was that a mistake? Because now it gives him access. It didn't drop DEFCON as I assumed he was expecting it to. No! Okay, he's just going to fix. All right, so now we do get Venezuela, so I guess it wasn't a mistake. All right, so one, two, three, four. He could redraw. No, he. we know his cards. He didn't redraw. Uh, oops. Did not redraw. Blockade, I don't think. Formosan, he has... And Sakos use that. Arab Israeli war, he's going to get mill ops with. He has Purge, he has five year plan. Okay. Um, see if he fixes Greece or he lets us drop Europe right away. No, he's going to coup Colombia. Okay. No, that makes sense. Certainly makes some sense. Um, okay, now Panama is a bit exposed. We don't have a great card for that because Comic Con, he could fill Bulgaria. Oh, he has ops. He does have a lot of ops. I think we just have to play Europe scoring now. Let him have, let him spend ops taking Panama. At least we cause him some problems in Iran. Suez is a little, now a little bit more affordable because uh, Europe's been scored and Suez is out. Okay, we know he doesn't have that, so I'm kind of surprised he didn't take Panama. Okay, so let's go ahead and take Panama then. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay to play Suez here. 
think maybe two to Algeria and one to Panama would be my guess. Seem to make some sense. Or we just maybe to go to Brazil first. Getting to Algeria would require destall or not destall, decolonization or de Gaulle. I think that's probably okay. Whereas if he breaks Venezuela, it's easier for him to get in the other South American countries. Okay, I imagine Aja scoring right here. And then, then maybe Cameroon and Algeria. He can't break us unless he plays the China card and he's nice facing Formosa. That was probably wise. Getting a little ahead of the, on the space track over there, which is dangerous for the USSR with all the great USA cards coming. Okay. Maybe we actually coup uh, Columbia with the Cambridge Five here in case he decides to coup Panama on his first. Uh, oh, he's using the China card. Keeping, was it five-year plan? And purge? Okay, well that's that just can't be. Nah, I think we still do it, because then we have realigns on Venezuela also. I think that's fine. If we get more than one, which we did, <laughs> but barely. Take away his uh, presence in South America, too. Okay, let's see what we get here. We got grain sales, that's great. Okay, we got some playable cards. We also got Kennedy in case some cards are not playable, but I think Grain Sales is the obvious headline. Of course, Purge, we kind of expected that. <laughs> um, I think... Do we still coup with it just to shorten his hand? Make it so he can't hold anything? Because he's going to play Allende no matter what. I, yeah, it's not great, but I... But a grain sales is a one-up card anyways at this point, so let's just do it. Okay, not bad. Yeah, being purged is not... Great. But we can play the China card and uh, Cultural Revolution, at the very least. Fill up Southeast Asia. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's give ourselves a really good Southeast Asia scoring. Hoping he does not, he did not get a decall redraw. I think that was worth four points. <laughs> I mean, he could definitely break something, but that that was a four point uh, China card. Kind of okay with that. Currently worth six, but he'll probably break or take Laos. Regardless, still worth it. Decal would be annoying, but it would mean he's not doing as much in Africa, so. Hmm, <laughs> Voice of America. Well, there you go. Now he can't space any more two op cards, and he also played uh, Brezhnev, so. 
going to have to space again, which you could do, or two more times, I guess, to, di to be able to discard. Here's his double space, and he missed this one, so no urgency at the moment. Should we, do we need to vent Marshall Plan here? I mean, we do need some ops. Um, well, we want to play Cultural Revolution for sure. So let's go ahead and do that in Algeria. Make it easier to play De Gaulle later. Now there's ABM Treaty, so he's going to have no problem with mill ops here. That's fair enough. That was a good uh, coup there. I think we want to overprotect now and take Mexico, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we will probably coup Haiti or Nicaragua. I don't know which one I would take here, but one of them. All right, Camp David's nice, gives us back into Jordan, access to Saudi Arabia, especially with the Middle East unscored, but we don't have ops right now. Uh, whew, okay. Uh, let's preemptively play Panama Canal so he can't break us so easily. Maybe space to Gaul here. No, if he comes back from this, I'm, I have no problem posting that. That would be a really remarkable. Quite an accomplishment, for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and space. We fail, okay. I think we will hold tight to Nasser. Maybe send him to space later. Play Comic-Con here. Question is, oh yeah, we want to we wanna coup. Uh, Nicaragua. That's what we're going to do. Did shorten his hand though, so hopefully he has something else juicy for us. Huh, that's right, we knew about that actually. Okay, do we not? Nah, I'm still fine with cooing Nicaragua. He can't take uh, West Germany that easily, especially if he wants the coup first. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's fine. Great. Europe's been scored. 
And we don't even have domination with West Germany right now. I think we have bigger fish to fry. So, Kennedy, there's no bad scorings for us right now. Um, I mean, things could happen in Africa, so uh, we might see how that goes. Liberation theology is always threatening. And he could, he's not too far from uh, something happening in the Middle East also. Oh, this is a terrible hand, though. This might be a good time for uh, Kennedy. If we brush ward here, if we, yeah, if we brush ward right here, what would we go for? He could missile envy us, take arms, race. Man, we get rid of Nasser, Lone Gunman, Quagmire, South African, and Che. I think that's really good. We give him arms race if he brush war, if he, uh, yeah. Could also go for Zaire, make Africa really promising. That might actually be better. That's not too bad. Um, well, we'll headline it and see what he does. Oh, right, he gets the <laughs> he gets the peak. He gets to peak. I thought that might happen. Arms race for you, then, good sir. Um, yeah. Do we want to do Zaire, or do we want to do... I think we're going to go Zaire. Okay, we could have gotten... Argentina. We also have Che in hand, so we can uh, converge on Nigeria without... Without issue. I expect he'll coup Brazil here, though. That's that's what I would do, at least. Um, we also want to take Saudi Arabia. So, maybe pop Missile Envy in there. Cooing, okay. Brazil? Almost, no. All right. I mean, sure, that's, that's great for us. And then shuttle diplomacy to take Nigeria and move into uh, Saudi. I expect he'll coup us again right here. And that would be our last, <clears throat> our last playable ops until we uh, use Kennedy. Kind of surprised he did that. But he doesn't know we have Che, and that's easy for us to get to Nigeria. Also, have no reason to be afraid of uh, arms race here, because he already got it from us. So we'll do one, two, and one there. Okay. Real lines, easy on Zaire, but we do have five ops in there, so not going to be the easiest job for him. Yeah, Muslim revolution would hurt, but not uh, not something we could would be unable to come back from for for sure. And this is basically the hand you want to use Kennedy when the board's looking like it does, and there are no threatening scoring cards. Cooing Nicaragua? No. Okay, I gotta set up. Go for some real lines. That's fine. That's you know whatever. South Africa's not awful here, but still not really. We don't want to keep it when we can get rid of it. So. All right, Junta's not bad. Then we'll probably save that. Kitchen Debates is active. Let's see, we're up one, tied, we're up three. Hmm. Got to take uh, West Germany back also. Let's 
see. I'd like to have the China card. So Nixon is okay. Nah, let's take uh let's take out of there and also out of there. Maybe some realignments here. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. That was a good roll. Go for yeah. Another good roll. Okay. We hung tight there. Um, I think we play Kitchen Debates now. Maybe he has Africa. But if he does, he's still not going to get domination here, I don't think. Well, I guess he could realign Zaire and then take both. Got to send Liberation to space. I would use Willie to take West Germany, but he gives a point in West Germany, so we can't do that. this guy before. No, he's pretty new, actually. But he's a good player. Positive record on both sides. Looks like pretty even on both sides. I'm still hoping to get back to even as the U.S. I think Liberation is going to space here. Good, he only gets to space once. I think we'll put, put both ops into West Germany with Willy, and then take the China card back. Hmm, okay, that makes South America less pressing. I don't like giving him the points, but I don't like having this stay open too much either. Or we do this in case he has Central America scoring. That's not bad. Yeah, I definitely want to play Nixon here. Even though Che is tempting, I'd like to put two into uh, Argentina. Oh, nice, nice uh, space for him there. Okay, well, we'll get to use Che right here. Central America, good. Indo Pakistani War is also really nice. But we have to use Junta, we have to headline Junta. He sees it, of course, so he might. This might be a uh, we will bury you spot. That's fine. That's okay. Um, if he does, we'll just coup Haiti instead and make him fix Argentina and allow us to realign Cuba. And we can use uh, nuke subs if we have any expectation of Africa scoring being out there. Yeah, Africa scoring, Middle East scoring, Central America, we have that. But he also probably has a Muslim revolution. And we will bury you. I'm expecting we will bury you here, but maybe it won't show up. He's also probably eliminating the options in our hand. Doesn't know all of our cards, of course, but knows some of the distinct possibilities if he's doing any sort of card tracking. Okay, raising the DEFCON. Interesting. And going for... Perch? 
ABM treaty, okay. Do we want to... Let's see what happens if we uh, don't actually coup a battleground here. No, actually we want to because he's not going to coup... We might get a Central American scoring off anyways. You know, four op coup something over there. Yeah, let's go for Argentina. Not a great coup. Everything is one less now, also. Something to keep in mind. Hmm, whatever he does here, we might get a coup off on Nigeria. Or, uh, actually, probably want to go for Angola. Because Algeria was, uh, or Nigeria was realigned, and Zaire is still under threat of realign. So Angola's probably better. Open it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, less pressing now. We could still do it. Let's see what it would look like with a uh, nuclear test ban would be. Ugh. We do have Portuguese Empire, and we know that South Africa has been discarded, so it's risky. But I think we want to take a coup, and we haven't yet, so let's do it. All right, well, he can... Uh, just, uh, he doesn't have to coup to take uh, Angola at this point. He can just take it. We can take Argentina if he does. Yeah. I expect he's just going to coup here, which is... Okay, well, I mean... Oh, 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 wow, that's fun. We could take it right back. I think, though, we're going to let him have his points here, and we're going to take Argentina and put one more into West Germany. And then we'll score Central America if he uh, tries to get Africa off right here. Because he knows that Angola is vulnerable. Though we don't even have South Africa right now, so is it six points? Five points. Definitely want to play Indo-Pakistani War here. It flips. Well, it gives us domination. It doesn't flip it, but it gives it to us. Could also have Colonials over there. Okay, Africa scoring will dump Central America. For two. Let's see if he has Middle East or uh, Muslim Revolution. Okay, there's Colonials. Oh yeah, we don't want to let, you're not going to take that. No, 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 no. I think we'll um, do that. It's going to be hard pressed for us to get another domination in uh, Europe, unless we draw East European Unrest. Okay, all right, so now you can discard a card. Maybe OAS, possibly. I think, well, actually, 
could take Algeria back right here. Or Angola, sorry, not Algeria, Angola. Now let's do the Indo-Pakistani War first. I want to see how this goes. Not well. We took our shot. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Block his domination. Yeah, because I, I was just thinking about Europe, but it's not really worth it. We don't have a domination anywhere except for Central America, which is really fragile. So this game could... Uh, I guess we're also pretty close in South America, but... This game could uh, tighten up. The board is pretty tight right now. Yeah, we saw that coming. Saw that coming. Yeah, we don't want to put it to Egypt yet because it gives him a alternate coup target, so let's see what it gets rid of. Probably OAS. Which means attacking his hand will be a good strategy from here on out, so he can't discard. Puppets. Okay, hadn't thought about that one. So OAS is coming. We got Middle East. And we also got Nasser again. Okay. Um... Fancy. He got OAS. He also got We Will Bury You, so we can't play Duck and Cover. Not that we would. He knows we have Middle East scoring. Does he have anything he can do about it? I think no. Unless he redrew destalinization. Mm, I think we're going to go with nuke subs. I think that's best. Nuke our way through Africa. There are a lot of bad cards still out there, because we discarded a bunch with Kennedy, so our man might also be a good uh, play somewhere in here. We might get, uh, I don't know, two, three coups out of this. Depending if we want to play one small step, which is tempting our man. Middle East, of course. Also gonna have to play a little bit quicker. Or maybe we've caught up a bit with our we started really slow, but play at the same pace at least. About four minutes a turn. I think we can do that. He's thinking about over there. Maybe it's a bathroom break. Ah, yes. Okay.
don't think you can flip Thailand here since we have the China card. But you can start working on it. Oh, no, you're not going to do that. Okay. Fine. Uh, I guess special relationship. Nice coup. Do you want to hold Nasser again? Now, maybe we'll play Middle East and then play Nasser. That's not bad. It's not too bad. Actually, I could play Portuguese here, because he wouldn't be able to take Angola. Down two. If you redrew Africa, now would be a good time to play it, unless you want to try cooing Angola, but that's kind of risky if you don't get it. Nope. Um, south? Okay. In that case, how about we do one, two, three. Set our own domination up over there. If you coup Egypt right here, I will coup with Nasser. Assuming you get somewhere. And we'll drop Middle East. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Okay. Um, what is it? Three? Four, probably. Yeah, four points. Do we want to do anything about it? Why not? Let's make him coup. Let's make him coup. Middle East. Doing a good job of holding me off on my uh, coup plan here. He still gets a point out of this, unless if, if he doesn't coup. Space race. Okay. Yeah, yikes. Space has been kind to him. Okay, now we can coup with Nasser. Uh, Nigeria. So we get, do we get two coups out of this? <laughs> Depends if it want to event one small step. Take away his peak option. I don't like that he can peak. No, not that one. This one. Maybe we should space uh, De Gaulle first. Uh, I definitely want a coup, though. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe we'll save our man until... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The choices. The choices. Definitely won't play Nasser in case Sadat comes back later. An India Jam wouldn't be bad either. Oh, speaking of, we need to protect. Uh, ugh, we have a lot of things to do here. Gotta protect uh, Thailand. It's vulnerable. Though I don't know much that could take it. I guess ABM could. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, he's, he can easily, uh, I assume, take one of those. I don't think there's anything I want to do about it, though, if he does. Oh, it's OAS. Look at that. Now, he probably won't do it now, then. Okay, let's set up it south. South American domination. He 
and let him do a re realign in Nigeria if he wants. Or try to coup Peru. It's okay. Yep. Okay. Must not have great ops over there. Space race to Gaul again. Fail. Ah. Oh. I guess we're one small step in, so he doesn't peak anymore, because that's just rude. Oh, shoot. That was smart. Did not factor that one in. Um, yeah, let's use, uh, let's use our man here. Socialist, get rid of that. South African unrest, get rid of that. I think we'll hold the others. Yeah. Well, I did the same thing. I let him off the hook. Ooh, we got Voice of America. How nice. Uh, that time I had to gall. Ooh, yeah, I could have... Uh... Okay. Well, I think we tear the wall down. I think that's what we do. It'll leave them very vulnerable, vulnerable to East European unrest. Solidarity, also strong here. Glasnost is nice, gives us a coup. Yeah, it's definitely not over. He's doing better in Europe right now. We have the Americas in good shape. Uh, okay. Interesting. We don't have a lot of uh, really problem cards here. Let's see what happens if we coup. Yeah, bad coup. All right. Bear Trap. Central American, Missile Envy, not going to play Missile Envy because of Cal, Glasnost, or does that just mean he's going to play the Reformer really quickly? There's a lot of cards he could get rid of, nothing that's obvious to me anyway. Central American can be negated with a coup on a <clears throat> uh, Guatemala. Leave it even. Though at the same time, we can really uh, we do well enough on our coups, can realign him out of uh, Cuba, which would be pretty nasty. can't believe I did the same thing I did yesterday with uh, Blockade. It just, like, gets out of your mind after early war, and you don't see it turn three, four. You just lose track of it. I spaced a Gaul because I hoped to get that one point on the fifth uh, notch of the space track, but I could have done one small step first. Okay. Bear trap it is. Um, does that mean you have Europe scoring? I think probably, but not going to lose our chance there. Is it five for you then? 
Yeah. All right, we got to overprotect in Africa. Put one into Ivory Coast and then coup at some point. Brush war. Nice job. Okay, let's use... Yeah, let's use NATO. One, two... Um, three, four, and then coup him in Zaire. Unless he does reformer right here. Yeah, the board's looking pretty even. Okay. Uh. Does that mean you have OPEC over there? Debt crisis is not really a threat here. It just means we won't um, ever get South America domination. If he lets us, I'll overprotect Zaire and put one into Libya, but I don't. He's going to go for one of those at least. Be my guess. Ah, we need to fill. Dang it! We need to fill. Um, Taiwan. I forgot we had Formosan. Gosh! I'm playing so bad! I'm playing so bad! I start off playing okay, but now I'm just playing awful. Uh-huh. Which one? Okay, that's fine. I will do this. See if he lets us take Taiwan. I don't know that he probably won't. But, uh... Let's see, do we want to... No, no, because we don't have a... Uh... Yeah. Not a concern. Venting it, okay. Gets him back to close to even. Let's go ahead and pop two into Taiwan here. Give ourselves Asia domination. <clears throat> One small step. We'll vent it. Oh, there's war games. <laughs> Gonna break something? No, he's going for control in the Middle East. All right, I think we'll just deal with that later, honestly. I don't really have a problem with that currently. Especially with... Um... Oh, Sadat's still out there. 10 points. Not ideal, of course. But it is scored and OPEC is gone. Uh, I guess he... Is Salt also gone? <sighs> yes, it is. So he can't get OPEC back. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, we're not we're not getting uh, war games because we're nowhere in close to room for Star Wars. I think we're just gonna space Pershing. Okay. What do you have to discard? All right, that would've been a point. 
Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, Junta does surprisingly little here. <laughs> does take away the coup from him, though. I just don't see a good spot for it. But we do want to take away the coup from him. Yeah, that's ugly. That's not cool. We'll put two in Haiti <laughs> and coup. Oh, I don't know. Let's coup Cuba. Why not? We're not going to take it. Yeah, you're, you're going to. He's going to get domination no matter what over there. And I mean, he has domination, I should say. Uh, let's go ahead and coup in Cuba. These free coups keep giving us ones. That's not ideal. Now, does he have a way of getting Europe control? That's the real question. Uh, okay. Go ahead and take France. That's a lot of points for you, but... I mean, sure. I think. Let's go ahead and coup... There. Give ourselves an African domination. Brush Wars out, so Italy is... <laughs> well... I guess... Sakovs is still around, too, so we do need to overprotect it, but... <clears throat> He's gonna get a lot of points for Europe. Seven, okay, alright. Asia's five for us. Africa's gonna be five for us. Gonna coup, okay. What's with these good coups? Stop cooing so well. Okay, fine, we'll do puppets. Play event. Um... How about one there, two there, hold on a second, six to five, yeah, okay. How about one, two, three? No, hold on. Let's not do that yet. Let's do something else first. Let's put one in here. Two, three, four. All right, I like that better. And then we'll do puppets, I think. <clears throat> okay. Maybe we should have played the uh... Let's do this. Do that first. Play flower power after. Gotta play fast. Gotta play fast. Break, break, break. Yeah, buddy, you're not gonna get it, so. But good try. Back to even, yeah! That's great, now it makes flower power free. How about one, two, three? Um. Four. This is such an intense game. 
especially with time. Got to hurry up. Well, we still have five minutes for turn 10, so might be okay. Okay, we have one more turn to do something. It's probably puppets into Sudan, Ethiopia. All right. Never mind. C5, we have four. There's not enough one-op spots to fill here. How badly do we want this domination? He has five. He can also go there for six, there for seven. All right, let's just say, let's just see this, what happens if we do this. Uh, I don't like it, I don't like it. It doesn't matter what happens. I think we play South America for nothing and then make up our minds later. South America would be, er, uh, yeah, that's a lot. Seven. It's unfortunate, but a fact of life. Okay. All right, what happens if we do this? Ah, if we do this, Formosan goes away. We don't want to do that. I think we're just going to do this. We're going to event it. And see what happens. Uh, 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 make some coup. Kind of have another good spot to go though. Eh. Guess we'll go there. See what he does. Does he have a card to coup with? Probably, but you know, it was worth a try. It's worth a try. Yeah, he does. Oh, do we get domination? No, so close. If only. Do get two points, but not quite a domination. Okay, what does he got? I think we're going to defector him. Oh, that's sad. We missed out on that one. So sad. Yeah, we're, we're going to defector him. Maybe we'll also five-year plan him. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Give ourselves... No, we won't get an extra turn. <sighs> These are not bad cards, though. That's the good news. Ooh, almost get a presenceless Asia scoring. Should be, oh, man, that'd be 11 points, but not quite, because we need two there, we need two there. Yeah, no, we can, you can't do it, for sure. Two, one, two, three. Yeah, be nice, but no. But we do want a five-year plan him. Is duck and cover out? Is that going to be a risk? Oh, no! No! That was sick. Terrible. Good play for him. That was that was pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, I I can't say can't say anything about it. That was that was phenomenal. That was a great play. Doesn't count for final scoring. Oh, that's a bummer. Though uh, Thailand does count, or Taiwan counts, so we still get the final scoring there. 
giving us an extra go. Fun. Cooing. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens with five-year plan. Or do we wait towards the end when he's holding on to one of my cards? Ooh. Actually, no. We want to do it sooner. So, so he, if he has green sails, he has to play it. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. I was, I actually, I guess that's good. I was thinking it had to get played, but it doesn't. It does not. Maybe we'll get a DEFCON win then. Maybe. Okay. Fun, fun. All right. So... Um, Cal. Let's do one, two. Do we want to use Chernobyl anywhere? Africa is going to be a draw. We could end up with a presenceless Asia. Actually. Okay, hold on, hold on here. We don't have a lot of time, but maybe we do it in Europe. Because all the bad Europe cards have been played, so we can... Okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's... Let's uh, get ourselves off the off the hook over there. Oh, you have terrorism. That could hurt for us. Lone gunman. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, we'd have to play lone gunman. Ugh, don't like it. I don't like it. But he'd have to go last, so we, it would be our last card. Okay. Let's uh, do this, and do this. Mm-hmm, get rid of Lone Gunman, how's that? That perf, that's good. That's not as good. Okay, how about play event? Down to six. Now, if he holds a scoring, I don't think he... Five. Yeah. <clears throat> if he has grain sales, that would be great. But I don't think he does. I think he's going to win on DEFCON here. Because he didn't draw Lone Gunman. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put an op there so he can't take it and break West Germany. And then we take Africa. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. That's pretty good. Okay, what do we want to do here? Probably that. We're going to lose by a DEFCON, but let's see here. Six. That's ten. That's two. That's twelve. Nice.
Hey, we held Zaire anyway. Wow, that was uh, quite a match. Disappointed in how it turned out, basically, uh, because of how well it uh, started. But, yeah, we blew it. And he played well. I mean, he... Phew, that uh, especially that uh, blockade play. Blockade has crushed me two games in a row. Very disappointing. But yeah, well, thanks for joining us. Uh, I assume he's gonna, um, yeah, he's gonna want me to post it. Already wants to show it to a friend. So, yeah, this is this is a humiliating. Uh, Loss, as we were well ahead, and we made some great plays at the beginning to defector his uh, destall. But even that play, that that defectors I played this turn, to uh, um... oh man, Asia scoring. Though we lost to Deathcon, it wouldn't have mattered, but it would have mattered. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.